Exactly 12 hours after an Amber Alert is issued for a Baraboo girl, her body is discovered in a rural cornfield. Our Suzanne Spencer joining us live now in Sauk County with what police used to find the girl. Suzanne? Stephanie, this community continues to come together for the family of this 10 year old who was missing this time last night. As soon as she was reported missing, it was a sprint to find her, and when they did, it was not the ending they had hoped for. In a city swelling with American pride, the focus in Baraboo for 24 hours turned to above. This is a shocker. Uh, this is not something you can prepare for. The search for 10 year old Cody Dutcher wasn't easy for the police captain in charge of the search effort to find her. It's a 10 year old. It's a 10 year old uh, child. Um, it's it's a, a tough thing. When an Amber Alert was issued Monday night, authorities only knew the girl may have taken a large amount of pills not prescribed to her before leaving home. The problem is, is we really didn't have at that point in time, we had no tips that were viable uh, that we could really act on. Drones were all they could use Monday because of weather. Aircraft Tuesday morning would bring them to her body not far from her home. The helicopter hovered over a, uh, a nearby cornfield. This corn is about seven to eight feet tall um, that uh, the helicopter and the spotter were able to, to locate Cody. Authorities said the girl left behind a note to her mother and say no one else was involved, but urge anyone who needs help to ask. These types of situations are, are difficult for all parties involved. And the community continues to show support for this family. We are not far from where her body was found, where there is now this sort of memorial growing with flowers and various candles. Uh, you know, a lot of people in this community have stepped up to help as far as search efforts later today and continuing their work here tonight just to make this a little bit easier for this family. Reporting live in Baraboo, Suzanne Spencer, Fox 6 News. It's amazing to see that support for that family, especially because they moved to that area just a short time ago. Suzanne, thank you.